So this is a question everyone assumes. But did you get paid royalties like when Bravo uh, was an old episode? No. <laughs> what a joke. No. We literally We're so we got stupid, screwed. you guys. We are so stupid. We got royalties. I'm telling you, Jersey Shore screwed us because they like t- like all that shit was out in the press, like all the shit they asked for. So like our show made sure that we couldn't ask for any of that. Yeah, like, no, they, they shut it down. They were on top of that. They're like, how yeah. can we make sure that they're not getting any bonuses or any anything? And they we got like what a Christmas bonus? I don't even know if that's true. <sighs> Style network. I'm embarrassed for like our like. I hear reality TV stars will get like a car for the network. Oh, really? Like, I got like I a, get coffee, a face scrub. <laughs> I literally, I can't. No, I'm just not, I can't. Even just, it's like, <laughs> thank God the network doesn't exist anymore. Um. Okay, so we're going here. We're going to the next part. All right. We're we're <laughs> we're we're in. We're in. We're in it to win it. Um. Olivia. Mm-hmm. A lot of questions that I got were like. What happened? Like, where did this this hatred start? You didn't know her before the show. No. Okay, so there's a thing called a pilot, and you film it. Uh, it's like maybe two episodes that you film before your show gets picked up or bought or any of that. And they were like, the producers were like, you know, how can we get these two to be on bad terms? Or what can we do to how like do they cause know that drama? Like, you wouldn't like her. Do you know what I mean? I probably would have. We were very similar. Yeah. But a lot of things very different. Like... I guess we looked, not looked, but like dressed similar. And because we're from Jersey, we're from the same area. We're, we go to the same clubs like that. Yeah. So everyone in that, er- uh, I guess, decade, right? Yeah. Everyone in that, that's so depressing. Uh. Everybody in that decade dressed the exact same way. We were all clones, orange Doritos. That's what we all were. And so, of course, we all looked the same. We all dressed the same. We all shopped at the same places. We went to the same clubs. It was just like that. However, we're very different people in that I, I have like the same friends for 15 years. I am on time all the time. Mm-hmm. I, um, I have a different outlook and view on life and what's important. And there's people that I choose to be friends with based on that. So and I guess what they saw is that we were completely different in that aspect. So they were like, they probably wouldn't get along if we put their backs against the walls. And I want you guys to understand something because I... the biggest question I get asked all the time is is there like hatred for each other fake and the answer is no that shit is the realest shit you will ever see on reality tv like no on both of their ends like they and I don't hate her anymore I don't really care I blocked her from social media I know nothing about her I really don't give a shit no, what you she's went on doing the next, or does you're on the next phase of well because hatred, I actually moved just on like, yeah it's acceptance. she's out of your life <laughs> yeah like she's just dead to you like yeah pretty much like yeah I have no idea all right so so what do you remember the first moment that she pissed you off or something she said like with to get under your skin yeah well what happened was i'm very big on like first appearances like if i meet you and i get like a really good vibe like i'll kind of vibe with you and chill and like be nice but like if something like about you that irks me the wrong way like i'll never let it go my friends know this my husband knows this everybody knows this that so when she first came in we were filming a scene and we hadn't met yet so they kept us in separate rooms and then they let us in and blah 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 and i walked in on time and i was standing there and then she walked in with like they had her walk in with her bags all over disheveled and <laughs> late and I was and I was like um and she's like sorry I'm late blah 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 I went shopping or something and <laughs> instantly I was like Annoyed. really like yeah. that's how we're starting like whatever so I instantly I thought my time didn't matter because I was like we've been waiting here to film whatever so and then um I talked about like something where I got an outfit and she rolled her eyes and I was like this is just not it's not gonna work out and I think they just picked up on it. Mm-hmm. And we never, we still didn't hate each other. We didn't fight, but like they built it. You just and knew built it wasn't it. someone you didn't click it with. It wasn't right somebody away. I was yeah. ever going to hang out with. Mm-hmm. And so we built it, built it up a lot. And they kept feeding it. And um, I don't know, like any sickness, if you don't take care of it, it gets escalated. I don't know. Like, and I'll, I'll, an- I'll answer as we go. Like, but I have stories about it, like that you would never believe. I told Jessica some of them. <laughs> tell tell us like, okay, so I mean, you guys were nasty to each other, no so doubt. So we but knew, like, we I, knew but it, that we at that point we knew like, um, I was the organized, responsible, like OCD type A, mm-hmm. and she was the carefree, like not caring, um, makeup artist who like whatever, like I was partying and then like whatever, and I am that role and she is that role, so it kind of worked, um, but at the same time, like those those people don't blend, right? Like you'll never get people that are like that together. So no. um, it they just like harped on it and it just escalated. And then there was a Lorenzo situation who mm. Lorenzo is Olivia's real life. I'm going to start using real life 
show life, okay? Yep. A- Lorenzo is Olivia's real life ex-boyfriend of I think it was like two years or something. And I was asked, you know, do you like Lorenzo? I was always friends with him. So I knew of her, but I was, I didn't really know her, but I knew like he dated this girl, Olivia. I didn't know anything about her. Um, we, me and him were really good friends and we would always like hang out with everybody, our group of friends, but like me and him never hooked up and they made it seem like we were dating and hooking up. And we played along with that because we thought that was what we were supposed to do. Mm -hmm. And we were getting paid to act like we were dating. Olivia knew that Lorenzo knew that. I knew that producers knew that everyone around us knew that we were not hooking up. We were not, he would sleep at my apartment for filming days and I would put a pillow in between us as we slept Whoa! because there was nothing happening and you could, we could get him on the show. Is that true? Yeah. We can get him on here if we want. I'm still cool with him. Like I have no problem with him and we can ask him and he'll tell you the same fucking story. Wow. So, so people that are like, you dated her ex. So when she dated yours, it was fine. Like you're a fucking hypocrite. Uh, no. Wait, but uh, was Olivia no. mad in real life that this was like going no. down? She, this is my problem with reality shows is that she knew that we weren't hooking up. She knew that we were friends. Yeah. But she played into it because it worked very well for storyline. Right. Okay. So I guess this is, did, did the producers ever make you fight with Olivia on purpose? Yeah, there were times that they wanted us to like get into it and say our piece. Like um, I think there was a time that we were actually on the same side. It was the... Uh, Gatsby product launch okay and we me and her had just kind of like talked it out and like we're on there was a moment where we were filming and I pulled her aside and I was like listen I know what my job here is you know what your job here is Billy I don't really want to fight with you in real life and it was um, we were at a club in New York City um, for filming it was the the makeover day where we went to Warren Tracomi. Mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> and um, I told her, I was like, listen, I'm not, we're not trying to be friends. I'm not your friend. You're not my friend. But like, we could be cool. Like we could be civil. Like yeah. I don't think we need to fight. And she was like, absolutely. I agree. And I was like, cool. Like whatever. Wow. I ended up, I ended up putting lady, she had just become obsessed with Lady Gaga. And I was like, oh, I, I requested this song for you. And we like danced into the night and had a great time. That's such a Tracy move. Like okay. or immediately that is doing very something me. thoughtful. I try to do something that somebody yeah. would like. Okay. So this is, this is a real story in real life I did this and then the next morning we filmed and we were getting along and they hated it they hated (laughs) it they separated us they ripped us apart from each other put us in different rooms um it was the day that we the next day we I think we were filming like um at a radio show or something I don't remember the exact episode but it was something about like getting people to come to the Gatsby cut-a-thon where we were raising money for like hair or something I don't remember details but and we got along too well and they didn't like it and they pulled it aside they were like this has to end like this has to be done and then she said something stupid and then instantly I was back where we started and I was like fuck (sighs) fuck this I'm done I tried blah 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 so there were times that like we did try to get along and like I I didn't hate her I was like oh you know maybe she has potential to be cool like I don't know maybe we could get along you and don't then want I was to like, fight with someone uh, you're working with. You don't like, want to fight every day. It's yeah. exhausting. It's exhausting. So I tried to like take a different route and she was on board with it, but then it just wasn't happening because our what our job was was not gonna ever end up like that. Um Well, it's funny because it's the story is funny because this is one of the questions that I got, which was um <laughs> it's so funny. Would, I'm gonna read it verbatim. Would you agree, don't be mad, that you and Olivia actually made a good team? You guys did that on the go thing, I think, and it seemed like you guys actually complimented each other's personalities. I'd always hope you'd bury the hatchet over a plate of disco fries oh my god that's so funny so like i kind of get what you're saying like we could you could have easily we could have easily worked on our relationship and been friends maybe but like i don't see i never saw it coming because when i did try there was no like resolution to it Mm -hmm. do you know what i mean like what about when olivia started dating mikey did you really care that that really bother you yeah. yeah. Um, so not, can you take me back? Because I'm just, my memory shot. Like, yeah. So um, you were dating this guy, Mikey. I dated Mike for two years um, in real life. Not in fake life. In yeah, real life. It was your real boyfriend. Unlike my Lorenzo, who was fake life. Um, he was my real boyfriend. And um, like, I don't know how much I can say because he's not here anymore. So like, yeah, I don't, don't want to ever feel like I'm like speaking ill of the dead. Yeah. But like um, the reason he had passed away I had seen that before and I had experienced it firsthand. And, um, oh my God, <laughs> you're crying because I feel so bad. Oh God, don't make me cry. Because I had gone through it before and I watched him overdose before and I tried to stop it because I'm not, I don't do drugs. Oh my and God. like when they put him on the show, I had to relive all that and it was very hard for me. Yeah. And you're a kid. Like, do you know how scary that is to see somebody 
ever OD. Like, it's traumatic. And it's someone you love and care about. And I was blamed for it because they, everyone told me that, like, the reason he did this is because you broke up with him. And so, like, I lived with guilt for, like, oh, a really long time. That's fucking horrible. Addicts don't, there's no reason addicts are addicts. You know what I mean? It has nothing to do with you, you know? Yeah, it was just hard because I felt like I was being, like, dragged through it again. And nobody fucking cared because nobody knew the real story. So, so like, producer didn't care because it was great storyline. Right. And Olivia didn't care because it was her boyfriend. Like, nobody cared, and everyone was like, you're still in love with him, you're obsessed with him. And I'm like, no, I just can't watch him fucking almost die again. And, like, it was so hard, and, like, I remembered all that shit. And, like, I retaught him how to walk. Like, nobody knows that shit. Yeah, because you're, you're a good When someone's in a coma, a he, was, he was in a coma for, like, three days, and I sat there and waited for him to wake up every day. And, like, that's why people were so mean and then i had to like deal with all that shit but People like do you just don't know. but tracy but you you realize like now like even like what ha- what ultimately happened to him like you have no control over no addicts, i know like, and it's stupid i'm even getting upset over no, i'm but, not upset no, over him i, I just know, upset over just, like I the know. fact that i got abused for something that like i literally i was imagine imagine your ex having a problem and then you trying to help and then him being in a coma and being by his side every day and then you he gets better and all is good and you break up and you're on like separate places and right. then you he gets brought to your workplace how to date somebody that, that you hate how did that happen i don't know i still to this day like how do they believe meet? that they met up and to like get plot yeah. yeah but like whatever and they dated for a long time i don't care like that's not the point i don't care how what yeah. happened but it was just so fucked up that like i had to deal with that and people fucking abused me. Like, they didn't even know the story. And, like, mm-hmm. I, the person that I should have been was like, fuck you. I watched him do this, 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 and this. And I don't say any of it on national TV mm-hmm. when I should have just said it all. And because then I got heat for it. And it's like, I'm trying to be a good person by not ratting people out. But, like, I was growing up to not snitch. <laughs> and, and, how long did Olivia and Mike date? I have no idea. Like, what, a year or two? But, I mean, that I was know. how many seasons of the show? It was the maj- the rest of the show until she dated Nick. Your contour looks a little better right now. Like, it's, like, it's very... So def- no, it's very defined from your oh, tears. Oh, shit. <laughs> no, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> Ollie Tracy looks better after a little cry fest. <sighs> so, yeah, it was just, like, sucked. Like, I just fucking hated going to work every day, and I, like, really couldn't avoid it because they put me in the situation every day and like and like any other job you'd get the fuck out of there you'd quit i'd just quit but like i'm in a contract that can't quit until they fire me or something so i would always do things to try to get fired by them don't forget guys new clips air every thursday so see you next thursday hosted on dimlywit.com even though we are not your best examples Uh, we're the best you've got so cheers bitches cheers Make sure you subscribe to our channel for updates, and if you like this clip, share it with a friend.